Okay, everyone, we'll check her. I know she's still ovulating 24 hours later, so we're going to see what we got. And she's still swollen. But this is the tail suck I was talking about yesterday. See how it sucks in right here? You can see it really good. See it? I'll pull it over this way. You can tell the tail suck in. And she's still really... Um, we're not going to mess with her too much, but she's just... A beautiful little girl, looking really good. So, that's where we're at with her. The other girl did not lay her eggs yet. She's right there moving around. That's a good sign. Um, as for all these other ones, they're doing perfect. I'm not going to complain. Not going to disturb them too much. Alright. Um, other than that, yeah, everything's looking good. Uh... Yeah, you guys want to look at some eggs? Is that what you want? I knew you did. Hold on. Okay, this is how I got this set up. As you guys see me do this, the temperature in here is 89 degrees. And if you look, water condensation builds up on the top, but nothing drips onto the eggs at all. Nothing. The eggs are looking good. Really, really good. That is a window into the egg, uh, you know, just so we know there's nothing bad there. Uh, but they're, they're going fine, they're getting bigger, they're looking good. Um, this is the one of the greatest methods of incubation. Um, what I was going to say is that incubation, they did this before 35 years ago, but they used to use aquariums, put a piece of glass on the top, or a piece of... Uh, Plexiglass, you know, and he used to set the tub in the bottom with an undergravel filter in it, heater with uh, two um, bricks, and he used to set stacks. He put bricks in there and stack uh, the tubs on top of it to do it that way. But this, with this here setup, is a much, much more efficient way of doing it. I am totally um, impressed at the. Uh, the ability of this to retain heat and prevent evaporation. Because you see the evaporation that happens with the other ones, because you're putting plastic on top, evaporated good. But this one here doesn't. Oh um, with the uh, the humidity in there is 100%. So you, you know the eggs don't ever seem to get any have any kind of trouble or anything. Where with other ones, you're adding water to it and stuff like that. Yeah, not these ones. They're doing really good. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. It's all looking good. These guys are looking good. i got to get another rack to stack up here on top of this one. And then I'm going to bring my other rack in from the other room. I'm going to try to get rid of these shelving units. Um... And put the shelving units somewhere else. You know. You know, you know, you know. That's what my plan is, so. Uh, yep. And I went and cleaned them all up pretty good yesterday just to have them ready. They moved the paper around in there, but the ones at the top ready for eggs when they start hatching. So, them were the sea serpents uh, hatchling racks that I happened to get from a viewer. That one came from Jeff, and that one came from a viewer. Jeff had that one, he didn't, wasn't using it, so he decided to send it to me, and this one here came from a viewer, so. Did it come from a viewer? Yeah, it did, I think. I have to go check if it came from a viewer or if Becky got it, I don't remember. I'll have to ask Becky. But anyway, there we go with that, so they're clean, ready to go. Um, I put the tubs in upside down that ain't being used. So, let's look at this girl right here. And in here is this girl. She's looking really, really good. Can't wait till she's up to size to breed. It will be nice to have her up to size for breeding. This girl here, 
the one that gave us the eggs. I try not to disturb her much after they do that. She uh, uh, ate that one there. She's moving around like a... She's right there if you look at her. She's moving all around, so that's coming. Any day now. She's on day 34, I think it is. So, she will be laying eggs any day. Um, as for everything else, it's looking really good. I'm sorry these logs are going to be a little bit shorter, but they are. Uh, like I said, I cleaned them up and got them all ready to go. You guys seen the eggs? Uh, let me see what all do I got to show you guys. Let me see. This one here. Let me check her. She's looking really good. As you see, that's the uh, genetic black back. She's looking fire. She's just on fire. She looks so good. I like her. Other than that, uh, everything's looking great. So. Look. There she's moving around in there. So I'm going to assume within the next day or so she'll be dropping these eggs because sometimes they get really restless before they lay eggs. And that'll be fun. I wonder how many she'll give me this year. I know how many she gave me last year. There's a bunch of people who have left comments as to how many eggs they think she will lay. Um, so you guys, give me your ideas of what you think she'll lay. Last year, she gave me nine. So, at least I think it was nine. I have to go look, but I'm pretty sure it was nine. It was definitely nine or above. So, tell me what you guys think this year. Leave it in the comments below. Um, Giggles are all doing great. Anyway, uh, everybody... Like, comment, share, subscribe, tell everybody about the channel. Help someone in need if you can help someone in need. And peace out, people.